everybody out. Today is May 13th. The chickens are doing good over here with a uh, neighbor kind of moved in. Doodles is messing with them a little bit, but overall they're both being pretty good. Let's see how these chicks did on their first night. They are all strung out relaxing. There's a heat lamp in there, but it's been pretty nice and warm and humid even, so I don't think they're really wanting to use that too much. Maybe at night, but they got everything they need. They do need a fill up on water though, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, y'all, I just uh, hopped in the cedar hive here. I like doing them first because they're the easy hive and then hopping in the white hive after that. Well, I haven't even done the white hive yet because the cedar hive, Queenie gave me the slip. So I pulled off the top box, the honey super up there. Um, just figured it's all honey up there. Um, just eating through their stores. Middle box, I wanted to see if they'd built out any comb yet. They did a little bit, but nothing major. And then I went straight to that deep box and I started combing through all the frames. Uh, whenever I do that, I'm looking for brood, eggs, um, there's a bee flying around me right now, not very happy. Uh, things like that. So I was going through and I was seeing capped over brood, but not one egg, which was suspicious. So then it hit me, I was like, well, dang, that queen ran up in the honey super. So I popped the hive back together and pulled out the first frame. Sure enough, there were eggs on it. So I looked for that queen twice going through the combs and I couldn't find her. So I don't know where she is in the hive. It's always when I'm looking for her, I can't find her. And then just in passing, I'll see her and be like, hey guys, there's a queen. But um, this bee is not happy. But um, yeah, so I gotta think on what I'm gonna do with that. I was gonna find her and then put her back down in the bottom box, but wasn't able to do that. So just gotta think about what I'm gonna do. Howdy y'all, today is May 14th. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. My mom, my grandma, I love you guys both so much. Uh, May 14th also marks uh, my yearly anniversary of farming. So I've been farming for seven years now today. So that's pretty exciting. It feels like it's been a lot longer than that. Um, I've marked my start of my farming career when I was hired on to a dairy farm. I did some farming stuff before that. I did, uh, you know, some chicken slaughters, some farm sitting with friends. I had friends that had, you know, horses and goats and whatnot. So I was around the whole farming scene, but not actively doing farm chores and everything on a daily basis. So May 14, 2016 is when I started farming. And uh, here I am today, starting my own farm just a year and a half ago or so now. So super exciting. Uh, I just love seeing the progress of where everything's uh, going and where everything has been. So I started farming on a dairy farm and um, I was only gonna stay at that farm for three years unless I got the farm manager position. I got that after a year and then I stayed there several more years. Um, I wasn't gonna stay there any longer than five years just so I could get my own farm up and going. So hit my five year mark, stayed until that winter, then uh, got out of there and started my own farm uh, I think it was just a week later or maybe even that same week. I can't remember. I have to go back and look. But uh, anyway, today on the agenda, I'm going to look at the nucleus colony that I picked up just to see how they're doing. Also going to move the chickens and back in the woods, I want to get a few more of those little twigs that the Arbor Day Foundation sent me planted. So I'm going to start working on it. one more tree to plant here. This is uh, the biggest one they gave me. It's actually as tall as the flag, which is nice. Had a good root system and it looks nice. So this is one of the Norway spruces. Um, I have just one more. So gonna get that planted and then we will take a look at the bees. I love seeing these dark green stripes. You can tell uh, 
to the left it's a little lighter that was their first pass right here their second pass they're about to come down on their third pass it's just bright green where they've been i love seeing that just proof that chickens are good little fertilizers i had some friends come out yesterday and they were walking around and she was just finding four leaf clovers everywhere so she saved a few of them for me but super neat to see them i haven't had any luck finding any i haven't really looked too hard but she was spotting them left and right all over the farm so she gave me a couple trees are good and watered i put all the spruces on the back corners because those things are going to be the biggest thing i planted the flowering things i wanted up front so i could see them plus they're going to be a little smaller so that way it's just small to large uh, as you go back uh, working on the chicken fence right now getting that moved and uh, then they'll be done and then we'll hop in the bi The bees were fine. I haven't even had them quite a week yet. I just wanted to make sure that um, they were in there working and nothing weird was going on. I saw some eggs uh, and that's all I needed to see. And everything else in there is looking good. They're packing in a lot of pollen right now and they're working on a little honey on some of those outer frames. So it seems like a pretty good queen. The laying pattern looks really nice. Since I ran out of time yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and look at this white hive really quick. Just make sure I see some eggs, uh, make sure the queen's not in the super like the cedar hive over here. Ideally, if I had time, uh, I would comb through, find the queen, and then put her back down and put a queen excluder on the top. I wish she can't get back up there, but um, considering it's Mother's Day and my whole day has mostly been doing farm stuff, uh, I want the evening to be free to hang out with my mom. So I'm going to go ahead, do these guys really quick, and then uh, put the chickens up for the day and call it there. Okay, you guys. So first thing I looked at was the top honey super. And sure enough, the queen found her way up there. So I uh, didn't see her up there, pulled it off, started looking in the second deep. Got super lucky, pulled out that middle frame in the box, and there she was. So what I'm gonna do is pop on this queen excluder so that way she stays out of that honey super. So the little slots in here are perfect size for the worker bees to be able to slip through, like you can see a few of them are doing there. But um, the queen's a little too big to fit through those slots. So now I'm gonna put the honey super on top and she will quit laying eggs up there. Howdy y'all, today is the 16th. Uh, I'm here at the school to pick up the last two chicks. I left three because one kid wanted one. I didn't want him to be alone. And then uh, when that one got taken, I didn't want just one to be alone, so I left a total of three. So I'm picking up the last two that are mine. Uh, just waiting on the teacher right now. Should uh, be here any minute, but this will be a pretty quick and simple grab. Uh, I've been kind of bad about recording today, but I was running around like crazy this morning. Uh, I got some t-shirts, or not t-shirts, but polos for the farm. I got to put the logo on it and everything for the farmer's market. Uh, my dad also made this really awesome picnic table with all the scrap wood that I have, so I'll show you guys that. Um, but yeah, things are pretty good today, just waiting on the teacher right now. Chicks are picked up, let's get them home. I'm glad to see Leia's doing good today. She's a chicken on the left on the roost with the purple band. 
yesterday, I don't know what was going on with her. She was laying in this back corner alone. Her eyes were half closed. It almost seemed like she had allergies or something. It was kind of weird, but she's snapped out of whatever it was and is acting fine today. So I'm gonna go ahead and top off their food and water and they're done. Howdy y'all, today is May 17th. Looks like someone left me a little surprise here. Let's check it out. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. Thank you to whoever uh, dropped that off. That's pretty neat. Um, I was looking forward to, actually I'll show you really quick, coming in and seeing something done over here because the power was supposed to be done yesterday and uh, it's clearly not. Yesterday, I've given them the benefit of the doubt because uh, it was overcast and just ever so slightly raining. But today it is sun and just gorgeous and no power. So that is uh, frustrating, but um, give them a call because I was on the schedule for Tuesday. Maybe it backed them up or something, I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the chickens done. Isn't this picnic table just awesome? My dad built this. It looks like he just bought it from a store. It looks great. Did a fantastic job. Definitely going to be using this a lot. Howdy y'all. Today is May 18th. I just dropped off my polos at a custom embroidery shop. So um, they're going to start working on that, which would be awesome. Uh, getting the logo on there. I am stopping at the feed barn really quick because I'm out of chicken food. Um, then after that, we will head out to the farm, get all the chores done out there, get a little bit of garden work done because it's such a beautiful day. And uh, yeah, just always something going on. Hopefully there's some power out there. I've been saying that for weeks though, so I don't have much hope on that, but uh, fingers crossed. So let's pick up some chicken food real quick and head out. Dang it y'all, why can't I get power out here? They've done nothing again. Oh, this is frustrating. Chickens are done, everything's watered. My dad actually showed up just a little bit after me and he's out weed eating the front ditch. Um, but he saw there wasn't any power, so he called and hopefully lit a fire underneath them. Promising tomorrow, but uh, we've been promised and lied to before. So I don't have really high hopes. Uh, they're at least just gonna trench it or bore it tomorrow and then uh, power next week, so. It's been a long waiting game, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up some more dirt for the garden. So this is what I'm doing. Just putting little dirt piles to kind of help hold right around the tomatoes. Uh, don't do that. It starts looking like this. The tomato plant's just getting swallowed up by this cloth because the grass underneath is growing and pushing it up. Uh, I didn't till underneath. I just cut super short. Uh, if I had tilled it, I'm sure it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, but because there's a lot of grass growing up underneath there, uh, I want to put some dirt to hold that down. Back with the Buffs and Marins now. Got uh, the bad rooster out, the Americana rooster. Get him some grass. Uh, I'll grab some eggs real quick and then we'll check on the chicks. Howdy y'all, today is May 19th. Quick update on these two injured chickens. The uh, chicken in the cage was at Americana that the rooster got a hold of. Her head looks amazing. It's healing up great. She'll make a full recovery. The buff on the other hand, I mean, she's doing good. She gets up, eats, uh, has some nibbles of grass. She has not touched her food, uh, but she does drink water good. Uh, she's lost a ton of weight, which uh, concerns me. She doesn't have too much of an appetite. Um, her rear end looks fine. I haven't had to clean it in a while. So I still don't know about her, but uh, she's been outside enjoying the day. I think it's good that they see each other and have a buddy. Um, but yeah, I don't know about the buff. But so far, she's in good spirits and gets around. She's active all morning, but now she's taking a little bit of a nap. And the Americana, I haven't put an ointment on her in a really long time, uh, a few days at least. And yeah, it's healing up fine, scabbed over great. Skin looks nice, and she's gonna have some feathers already coming in. You can kind of see them a little bit, so. 
so far pretty good with these two um next week should be even better hopefully I know it's only Friday, but I'm gonna go ahead and get in the beehives. I just wanna check that middle box, see how they're doing. I know the bottom box and the top box are full. I brought out a honey super just in case they need it. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, so check that hive. And then these guys, um, I forgot to bring out another queen excluder because the queen did get up in here and start laying eggs. I don't want her up here. I want her in these two boxes so I'll still come through them see uh, if they've done much with this box they started last week I uh, pulled that off because they were making some crazy comb in there but uh, yeah I'd like to get a queen excluder on here just to keep her out of here so the cedar hive has started packing away and capping some new honey which is great to see but uh, right there it looks a little fuzzier uh, duller not as bright white as the edge there those are babies uh, that still haven't hatched yet. So taking up a little bit of the honey space. That's why I'd really like to get a queen excluder on here so she can't get up here anymore and lay eggs. And that way this can all be designated for honey. But so far everything I'm seeing, uh, looks like the bees are doing a great job in here. Cedar hive's good. They've started working on their middle box, but there's one frame they keep making this crazy comb. So I took it off. Unfortunately, there were a bunch of eggs on there. Um, I don't have any rubber bands on me to tie it back up in the hive, so I'll just let them uh, crawl off that and then grab it next week. So this hive, the white hive, is also doing good on their honey production, but we have a ton of brood up here. That's a beautiful frame. Uh, I'd just rather not see it in the super. So the queen is not up here anymore, so once all these babies hatch, uh, this will all get turned into honey, so I just wanted to see how far along, but uh, looks like we still got a little while. So this white hive is doing great. Uh, it's just about as tall as me now. I went ahead and added on a second honey super. They've done a great job with this uh, second deep here that I put on. Uh, they've already started drawing out all the frames minus the edges. Uh, they're packing some stuff in there, which is great. So uh, I put on the second honey super so that way this week when they finish this up, they'll have something else to do if they get done with it sooner than later. Uh, I also put on a inner cover. So it's just a little more ventilation also, so the bees don't have to fly in the bottom, crawl all the way up to the top just to start putting the honey away. Um, so now they can just fly in with their nectar and pop it right in and get to work on honey. So that's, uh, they're doing great, so I'm really glad to see all of that. They do have a little bit of an ant problem, so I'm gonna put some Vaseline around the base. You can see some leftover from last year. Uh, it'd also help if I cut some of these weeds down around it, but um, yeah, honey's coming soon from these guys. So I put this all over the outside of the bottom again. Hopefully that should help curb it a little bit. If I have to, it is a screen bottom board. If I have to take the whole hive down to the base and lube up the inside of it, I will. I uh, also don't want to forget to do these wires I have here. That way it's not a highway for them to jump past that and just climb right on up to the top and get in. So I think my bases are covered. Keep an eye on it and then uh, just assess it and go with whatever needs to be done when it needs to be done. Also, when I was pulling off this second deep to get down to the first deep to check it out, uh, they had built some stray comb and then had some babies in there. So. This is what uh, brood looks like when it's capped over. It's these little grubs. So they go through this transformation, kind of like a butterfly, really. Uh, caterpillar to butterfly. And same thing here, you got larva that uh, turns into an adult bee. So pretty cool. There's one of those big black carpenter ants that was trying to get in. But uh, yeah, this hive is doing a really great job. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this to the chickens because it's good protein. There's a big black one I'm going to try and get up. It's these big ones that I'm more worried about because you have to put a really thick barrier on there because they're just so much bigger that they can climb right over it. It doesn't like it. So that's good. Uh, it is going to rain, I think, later today, so I'll probably have to keep putting this on. But um, when I opened up the top of this hive, there were some big black ants in here, so just 
Just keep an eye on them. Chickens. It's getting kind of cloudy. I think this rain might come sooner than later. I'm glad I got into two of the hives. I'd still like to get into the last one. Uh, I had a friend drop off a refrigerator late last night and uh, it's sitting behind the barn so I want to go pick that up so it's not out in the rain. Uh, so I'm gonna head out there. My dad's gonna come out with me. Uh, we might mess around for a little bit and then uh, yeah keep on going. Well, y'all, they trenched it in instead of boarded it in, which is fine. It's just as long as something's done, I'm happy with it. So, uh, hooked up to that pole right there. Trenched it right on in. Big old mound of dirt here. Gonna start smashing stuff in. And they actually got power. Uh, the meter's there and everything. I was not expecting that. I thought that they would only do the digging today. So, that's super exciting. And uh, I'm glad that's done. So, let's go in the barn and... Fire it up. Cool. I kind of figured they would tear up this uh, flower bed. No worries though, I didn't seed this one very heavily at all because I kind of thought that that could happen. Super cool, I did not think I would have power today. So nice having lights on and it's not loud with a generator just blaring in your ear just to have lights. So, so nice having that. Uh, I got the refrigerator inside. It's not raining. Um, doing the chickens right now, just turn the fence off, get them moved and then we'll look at the bees. So these bees are a little angry with me right now. When uh, I lifted up this cover here, they had some frames glued to the top. I think it's those plastic frames sit a little closer so they're able to kind of meld those two pieces of equipment together. And uh, when I lifted it up, the frames did eventually break off and slam back down. So um, that's why the bees are a little mad right now. Um, I did go ahead and add the second box on because they have this over halfway filled out. They did actually the first week already, but I wanted to give them a little bit of time to adjust and not feel too overwhelmed in a big home. So they've been settled in and they're doing great. So went ahead and put on the second deep. All right, y'all, that's a wrap for this week. Got a lot of stuff done. Had a lot of people out visiting the farm, which is always fun. Um, chickens are good. Bees are good. All is good gonna pick up next week just crossing more things off the to-do list so thanks for watching and i'll see you next week <laughs>